Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to part 19 of Dynasty Warriors 8 Extreme Legends Complete Edition Gen Playthrough. And today, we are taking care of Xiao Ho Ba as he is one of the traitors that abandoned ship the moment Suma sure died. Well, technically, he didn't. If Xiao Ho Ba's journey didn't. It was failed, or if you failed to get the star requirement, this still happens anyway. Sure find better ways to spend my time. But we're talking about the fact that we got all the star requirements and went to the historical route. So yeah, he pretty much abandoned ship. So on that note, I'm just selling off some weapons just so that I can make room. Because you see, here's the thing people don't understand. That last DLC for this game, it's going to be brutally hard. And it's going to be brutally hard for one reason and one reason only. Like, it's the last part of it. So, I'm going to make all the preparations I can so that I can get uh, enough money or enough uh, level... For some of the players I'm going to be using for the DLC. Because let's be honest folks. And for the most part I'll probably be upping Dong Ai definitely. Because he's going to play a major role in the DLC. So quite frankly I'm selling all those weapons for that reason. This right here is the swan song or the beginning of the swan song for Jiang Wei. He is practically... Allowing Xiao Ho Ba to prepare for an attack, which in turn, it's unknown whether or not this battle actually happened. But one thing is perfectly clear Tao Yang does fall. In fact, this was the uh, area that was actually captured by Jiang Wei successfully while everyone was focused on uh, Zuga Don and his defection. Unfortunately, you know how things work. Don I came in, the plot happened, and Jiang Wei had to retreat. Well, somewhere along the line, Xiao Ho Ba was supposed to be there. However, that's not the case when it comes down to here, because Jiang Wei is nowhere in this battle. But Xiao Ho Ba is. And apparently, according to Romance, which, by the way, is the only thing we could take with a grain of salt, or even take some sort of modicum of... How the hell did I miss that? How did I miss that? Anyway, as I was saying, the only way we could take some modicum of reference to what happened to Xiao Ho Ba, because anything after his defection, they don't have a record of. He may have been involved in some plots, but he, there was no record of his service. So, yeah, we're going to have to take what happened to him in Taoyong in face value. Because eventually he does die, but unfortunately they don't actually say how he died. Because in one instance... He was killed in a hail of arrows. The other instance, he got killed by a rock. Yeah, literally got brain upside the head with a rock. So, I really don't understand how and what happened to Xiao Ba. So, why am I talking about this and not paying attention to the actual fight? Because, really, there's no star requirement for this fight whatsoever. None. If there really was a star requirement, it would have happened right about now and I'd have been more focused. But it's not. There's no star requirement. You're just practically defeating all the all of the actual battles and going through. There again, there is no star requirement until we get to the DLC, which there is two: one for one DLC and one for the other. However, it doesn't matter what happens here. So long as you manage to get the Xiao Ho Ba, that is the key point. That is the key uh, objective. To get the Xiao Ho Ba and to kill him. 
That's it. Or defeat him and he gets killed on cutscene. But whatever the case. We pretty much got this on lock and key. With everyone defeated. Now there's two messengers. You probably will need to get rid of them all. It'll probably uh, be for your best benefit. However, sometimes you don't have to. Defeating these messengers will only make things easier on you. And if you killed all the messengers, all the messengers will be... Uh, I thought I killed all of them. There was one more that I missed. And he's already down there. Damn it! Missed one. Maybe we could use it to enter the castle. But that's okay. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Cause by the time that reinforcements come in, it'll be way too late. But if we did take care of that messenger, the uh there would be two ladders to get into, and Xiao Ho Ba would not be able to actually escape. And they won't be able to rally as much. But, since I didn't, it doesn't matter. Because again, by the time we reach him, and by the time reinforcements come in, yeah, this battle would be all but over. However, it would sometimes be a good thing to go after Xiao Ho Ba, because... Even if the reinforcements do come, you could just slaughter them, get some experience, and then go back and kill Xiao Ho Ba anyway. Either way, what needs to happen is Xiao Ho Ba needs to be defeated. So, with that said, we're going to have to take care of everybody in the court before we even get any further. Hopefully they die this time. There we go. Yeah, the fact that I missed the first time was just absolutely absurd. That's the one thing I like and also dislike about uh, Suma Zhao's Musao. It's inaccurate, but when it hits, depending on the enemy's level, it's almost nearly a heavy hitter or insta-kill. Mostly a heavy hitter. It's more like getting hit with Slash. You shall go no further. And we still got multiple people to deal with here. I thought I killed that guy, but apparently not. He's still somehow alive. How is that even possible? By a small freaking sliver. You know what? It doesn't matter. We're just gonna get rid of all these guys here. I am pretty low level for this. But again, the reinforcements should actually uh, be coming. And there they are. But it's already too late. Even if they do show up, there's nothing they can do. And that takes care of those guys. Now the reinforcement's gonna try to stand in your way in order to uh, to keep you from going after Xiao Ho Ba, but Dong Ai is already in the vicinity, and Dong Ai probably is giving him the workings, probably breaking his arm and everything. The only thing that's left now is to defeat Zhang Yi, and that's the only one left. And that's it. And. Uh, let's see. The only thing that's left now is Liao Hua. He, however, is also inspired, but he's nowhere near as hard as everyone else because I've basically got heaven and man weapons, so at least I can survive that, and so can they. With everyone defeated and morale getting high, it's not going to be long before Xiao Ho Ba falls. Even with his rocket-powered uh, siege weapon, it's over. There's nothing he can do. He is done. 
And that's the end of the ball game. <sighs> ah, Master Suma Zhao. Shahu Ba. <laughs> Come on now. Don't get all emotional. We each chose our paths. This is the natural result. You mean... You couldn't betray who you really feel you are? Yes. That's it. My lord. Stay back. Farewell, old friend. Yes. Farewell, my lord. Take him to Shu Chong to be executed. Well, this time the hatchet man slash axe murderer didn't have to kill Shahoba. Suma Zhao sent him to his death. At least it didn't get bashed in the head with a rock. Anyway, that's it for Shahoba. And with that last line of defense gone, well, it's safe to say it is the swan song for Jiang Wei. Because Tao Yong literally was one of the last bastions of defenses for Yi province. And Qingdu as a whole, or should I say the Shu country. And also, since Tian Shui fell not too long ago, and Jiang Wei kept conscripting people from Han Zhang, guess where they're attacking from? It's gonna be terrible for Jiang Wei, because Jiang Yi is about to be, well, completely overran. So, in this next battle, which will be in part 20, it's part 1 of the downfall of Jiang Wei, as we're going to do the Battle of Jiang Gi. This time, we're going to be playing as, well, Dong Ai. And the reason why we're going to be playing as Dong Ai is because it's his show. He's the man that brought down Shu. This is RV Man 985. See you all in part 20 of Dynasty Warriors 8 Extreme Legends Complete Edition.